It's been billed as a make or break moment to tackle the threat of global warming and save the world from a climate catastrophe. Crucial international climate talks are underway this hour in Scotland. The stakes are high at COP26, with countries expected to put forward targets for achieving net zero emissions. Discussions are expected to be tense. The first keynote speeches will be from host and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, US President Joe Biden and Indian PM Narendra Modi. But there are also significant absences. China's Xi Jinping and Russia's Vladimir Putin, they won't be attending. Live to Laura Makin Isherwood in Glasgow in just a moment. But first, some of the challenges that lie ahead. The eyes of the world are on Glasgow, as more than 120 world leaders meet in what's been built as a last-ditch attempt to tackle the climate crisis. For the next two weeks, they need to decide how to avert a looming global disaster. If I had to give a comparison, I'd say it was a, a one-minute to midnight moment and the, uh, the clock is, is, is ticking. We have to get uh, everybody to do more. The United Nations says current commitments made under the Paris Agreement in 2015 are still not enough. It's warned the world will still face catastrophic warming of 2.7 degrees Celsius this century. Some of the world's richest countries have already put a dampener on those crucial plans. Over the weekend, G20 leaders failed to set a specific deadline to achieve net zero carbon emissions. Observers had hoped that the grouping, which accounts for nearly 80% of global carbon emissions, would give a strong impetus to the COP26 summit. Attention is also on China, the world's biggest carbon polluter. President Xi Jinping has also decided not to attend the Glasgow talks in person, but will be submitting a written statement instead. Leaders are expected to face intense negotiations to deliver urgent and concrete plans to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. While all this goes on, the pandemic will also make the summit different from any other. The 25,000 delegates from around the world must wear masks, socially distance and test negative for COVID-19 each day. Laura Makin Isherwood joins us live now from Glasgow. Laura, the United Kingdom says success at COP26 is touch and go. Yeah, absolutely. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is about to get underway with his first speech of this summit. He's going to tell people here, delegates and leaders, that it is one minute to midnight. Effectively, that time is running out to really make a difference in this fight against climate change. We've had warnings in the lead up to this that uh, global uh, warming is on the increase. It's accelerating. Greenhouse gas levels in the atmosphere are reaching limits that may never be able to be returned from. And so consequently, uh, success here is paramount to ensure that the biggest impacts are not felt in those countries that are already suffering the effects of climate change. Well, there are also calls for China, one of the world's biggest emitters of carbon emissions, to step up action. Yeah, absolutely. And President Xi Jinping has abstained from coming here to Glasgow. There has been increasing pressure on China to try to cut its carbon emissions. Uh, about 60% of its energy growth in the last two years has been because of fossil fuel use. And while China's released a white paper in the last uh, three or four days detailing a, a tussle between financing technology and also capacity building, the success of tackling ch climate change really does depend on the largest emitters, China, the US and other Western nations, cutting back and also helping developing nations transition their economies to greener ways of working too. All right, Laura, thank you very much for that look ahead at COP26. Laura, make an issue with there in Glasgow.